relevant also to these problems are our plans for a university of the air. It's designed to provide an opportunity for those who, for one reason or another, have not been able to take advantages of higher education now to do so, with all the TV and radio and a state-sponsored correspondence course and the facilities of a university for setting and marking papers and conducting examinations and awarding degrees that all these things can provide. The OU has changed so many people's lives and mine and because it just opens the door for people who thought that the door was well and truly closed on them with regards to progressing and getting an education. Studying with the Open University is the best thing I've ever done. You know, I'm just one of them. Um, so many who have possibly had dreamt of graduating university like I have and never had the chance to in with the Open University. They have the chance to, to get that, to get their degrees, to make their lives better. At the time I had a two-year-old and a newborn, so really going to university was out of the question. Um, so I discovered the Open University and I ordered a prospectus online, seeing the vast amount of subjects and courses that there was, and it just went from there really. I'm very proud to have uh, done the Open University course. I'm perhaps not the typical Open University student, having been in academia, but a different kind of academia, largely science-based. And I was especially driven by the fact that, um, although I had an honours degree in medicine, and I had actually two doctorates from through medicine, I had a chink in my armour, um, and that chink was that I failed my English language O-level. So anything smart or erudite that I said, my friends would turn around and go, can you spell that? So I decided to overcompensate and sign up the Open University and did a degree largely in English literature. Obviously when I had thought about going and doing nurse training, I had a young family, I had a mortgage to pay for and I couldn't really afford to do it through the conventional route. So being able to work, get my full pay on as a convent, working not only financially did it support me, but equally the experiences and the support of my mentor continued when I was supposed to be back in the ward as a healthcare worker. You can always make time for something that you want to do. Um, obviously I was on call, but happily as a consultant you were on call from home. So I was at home, couldn't have a drink or whatever, so it was sometimes nice to take yourself off with a novel. Um, which you had to read, analyse and write essays on them. So it really kept me occupied in those times and I, I, I really enjoyed it. I first discovered the Open University when my husband was being honoured at a ceremony in Manchester. My um, history of education is quite uh, sparse because I left school at 14. So um, I never thought that education, further education was an option for me. And so when I went to the Open University to that ceremony and I saw and I realized that, that mature students and people who haven't got form, a formal education, um, that they had a chance, they had a chance to and um, continue on and, and do various levels of courses and do degrees and I had, I was just blown away. I didn't know that I'd ever have a chance to do something like that. Gillian Quinn. I found the Open University a really flexible way to do my, my training. Um, shortly after I started the course, I found out I was pregnant with my third child and I thought that was my opportunity if nursing gone and I'd have to, to step out of my place and give it up to someone else. But having phoned the Open University, I found them to be really supportive and we talked about what, what could be put in place to support me. Um, I worked really hard at my assignments and got really good grades, which allowed me then towards the end of my pregnancy to defer my, my final assessment and still come out with a really good grade. 
Having had a traditional academic background, um, I'm very aware of how that works. I enjoyed the Open University's approach. It's much freer, you can do it in your spare time, you're not bound by going to lectures nine to five, it's something that you do in your own time. There are guidelines, there may be tutorials you have to go to, there are online courses, but it's a much freer institution, you feel much more in charge of the course itself. Basically, I did a lot of it at night when the kids were in bed, you know, because they were young, they were going to bed at reasonable time. But also, it's, people, I think, think that doing a degree is sitting reading books for five hours at a time, and it's not like that. A lot of, yes, there was reading in it, but a lot of it was videos, you were watching interviews with experts, there was um, study materials that were picture-based, there was online tutorials. Um, so, and you can do it in bite-sized chunks. It wasn't like a full, you know, you had to sit down for a, lot, a long time. You could do it bit by bit. Um, and a lot of it was online interaction as well. So it was really easy to fit in. Lisa Parker. The Open University helped me around, fit, fit studying around my lifestyle in that um, being disabled, I um, have been unable to work. So I was um, able to do a lot of study from home and um, the Open University sent me out all my all study materials in audio format. And I was able to study in the mornings and in the evenings on my computer and if I wasn't at my computer I had, a, I had a portable talking book player that I would read my books off. I believe the Open University is 50 years old this year. I'm glad to hear that. It's catching up in me. It's not as old as me as yet, but it's getting there. Happy birthday, OU. I would like to say happy birthday, happy 50th birthday to the Open University. Um, I'd like to congratulate you on your success and all the thousands of people that you've helped through getting them on in their careers, help them in their personal life, help them with confidence. Um, and you should just be absolutely proud of yourself and I'm very proud to be a part of it. Happy 50th birthday Open University. Thank you for training our nurses of the future and helping people to achieve their dreams like I did. Here's to the next 50 years of helping people like me fulfill long-held dreams of graduating university. I'd like to say congratulations to the Open University on reaching 50 years old and I can't thank you enough for giving me the opportunity of an education that you have done and I hope that you continue for at least another 50 years. Mm -hmm.